So it is day two. I had my Inspire surgery yesterday. And uh, this is a little over 24 hours now from getting home from that uh, and giving an update now just on how things went. Of course, <clears throat> the surgery went okay. Um, took a little bit longer. They had some scar tissue, they said, from an old injury that I'd had to my neck that um, slowed it down a little bit. But overall, it went fine. No complications um, other than they did have to shave my beard. Uh, and so now I'm home and recovering well. Uh, there was only, uh, the surgery has changed from what um, I had read about it. There's only two incisions now instead of three where they used to put an electrode down low. Now it's built into uh, the, close to the uh, main uh, controller of the device, the Inspire device. And so it senses breathing in the chest <clears throat> at night. So I have one incision across my chest here and the device is behind that. And uh, the an electrode runs up and there's an incision underneath my chin here where they attach to the hypoglossal nerve to control the tongue movement at night to open the airway. Um, I'm sore and a little swollen on both incision sites um, and sore where, the, where they tunneled the catheter up through to uh, get the electrode in place where it needs to be. But uh, other than that soreness, um, which is, you know, it's tight, everything's tight. Um, <clears throat> due to the numbing and the swelling in my uh, chin and jaw and stuff here, this part of my lip still has not uh, got the feeling back in it and is not moving uh, the way that it used to. But I imagine when that swelling goes down, that will... Um, correct. <clears throat> Eating is a little difficult because the back of the tongue is sore um, and when I chew it hurts uh, in this area where they made the incision. Uh, can't open my mouth very far um, compared to previously uh, but um, overall it hasn't been bad. The worst part about it has been sore throat um, because during the, the surgery, of course, I had to be intubated. Um, uh, and that left my throat raw and sore. And so I've uh, been eating, trying to eat light, lightly, um, and things that are easy to swallow. And uh, <clears throat> that's been the worst part of it, is just a sore throat and uh, swallowing. And so, um, but this is day two. Um, or day one after the surgery to install the Inspire Sleep um, device. And um, I'm making it just fine so far. So I will give, um, I'm gonna give updates maybe like once a week. Um, I have to go back next week to have my incisions checked by the um, doctor that did the surgery. Um, and then in four weeks, um, I have to go back or go to the pulmonologist who will activate my device. So I'm gonna give just a weekly update, maybe on um, on Thursdays, since I had my surgery on Thursday. I'll do a weekly update on Thursdays of how my recovery is going. And <clears throat> then once I get it activated, I can give some updates on uh, how well it is doing its job. And so um, hopefully next time I'm on here, um, I will, look a little bit better um as like i said i'm i'm uh taking it easy and i've got a lot of swelling and stuff like that which is expected with any surgery but um i will see you guys back once um another week has passed and i'll do an update on how things are going